I was just getting ready for the day and I was doing my hair and my makeup and I was thinking about it. For the past week, I have not worn any makeup. The other day, I put on makeup and right after, I was just absolutely grossed out and I washed it off probably like 30 minutes later because I just felt so gross with my makeup on for some reason. I feel like that happens to a lot of people, but I feel like for me, most of my makeup is like a year old. And if you don't know, on the bottom or somewhere on your makeup, there's usually like a little... Well, no, there's not usually, there always is. I'm pretty sure it has to be. There's a little thing that will tell you how long the product is good for. So this one... Maybe that's not a good one to show. Like on here, this is the back of my powder. There's this little container and it says 12M. So that means that it's good for 12 months. And most of this makeup I have had for a year or longer. And so I feel like I'm just so grossed out. So I thought that I would go through all of my makeup and clean it out. And the Sephora VIB sale is in like two weeks, I think, and so, or maybe three weeks. So I thought I would just go through all my makeup and see what I have and get rid of some things and then get ready to pick up some new products during the sale. So I have two bags. I have like my everyday makeup bag and then more, just a bunch more makeup in this bag. Okay, in my everyday makeup bag, I just have this little Victoria's Secret travel case. Um, I do want to get new bags also. I want to get one of those ones that has like a clear top and I don't know if I can explain it. It doesn't really matter. I'll show, I'll show what I want to get. Anyways, so first, everyday makeup. I can probably just grab everything. This is everything in my everyday makeup bag. So first up we have the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I love this. I have it in the shade 2.5 and this is pretty similar to just the shade of my face. I love this but honestly this is probably maybe two years old or more which is like, I don't know if it's like that bad but I should probably get a new one. I don't have like a lot of makeup in here. The next two things I have uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and then her clear brow gel. I love these. I usually do my eyebrows like every single day or at least gel them. They're crazy. They go crazy if I don't use brow gel. So love these. I probably will get like just restock these and I feel like using this on your eyebrows probably isn't that bad even if it is old oh yeah this one says you can use it for 24 months then I have the summer Fridays lip balm I absolutely love this I'll probably get another one then I just have an eyelash curler I curl my eyelashes like every day because I do not wear mascara I have some tweezers I just keep my tweezers in here so they're easy to find and then I have a couple of these little spoolie brushes um, just for to like brush my eyelashes or my eyebrows or whatever so yeah that is everything in my like everyday makeup bag and then let's see okay I have two more NARS concealers I have the same uh, soft matte complete concealer just in a different shade and then I have the NARS radiant creamy concealer also in a different shade so I have all three of these all in different shades this one in my everyday makeup bag like I said is closest to my actual skin tone it's not for brightening or anything like that I usually use it to cover acne and sometimes I will use it to cover dark circles it just blends in so nicely that you can't even tell that I'm wearing concealer usually this shade in my other makeup bag is a little bit lighter so it's brightening and I use it on more like going out and things like that then this NARS Radiant Cream Concealer, I honestly haven't used this in so long and it's probably like four years old, I don't even know. But I do love both of these. I love the soft matte for a little bit more coverage, covering blemishes, things like that. And then I do like Radiant Creamy Concealer for under the eyes and stuff. 
So I think I am going to get rid of all three of these and then just get one shade in this that is like my true skin tone. And then I'll get one shade in this for like under the eyes, I think. I also have a Tarte Shape Tape in here, which I absolutely loved this for like three years straight. I don't wear like foundation very often, so I actually gravitate towards a full coverage concealer, which I feel like is kind of unusual. But I just feel like when you're not wearing foundation, you can get away with a more full coverage concealer. It looks a lot more natural, in my opinion, than obviously a foundation and then also a full coverage concealer. So I have had this for, you're only supposed to use this for six months. And I've had this for like, I don't know, since college, early days of college, I'm not sure. But I haven't been using this on like my face. I've just been using it to like sometimes I will like carve out right here on my eye if I have like eyeshadow or I'll carve out underneath my eyebrows. So I've only been using it for that. I do really like this concealer, but I don't think I'm going to get another one just yet. I just want to restock my everyday skincare or what? We'll go through and replace all of my everyday makeup and then kind of build from there leading into the summer i feel like i'm not going to be wearing like a full face of makeup very often i do have a wedding that i'm in this summer and i want to buy some makeup for that but that's not for a couple of months for now i'm not going to be replacing this we'll see if i ever do i have also heard that the nyx barely there concealer is really good i might try that instead for foundation, I like the Makeup Forever Reboot foundation. I think this is like light to medium coverage. This honestly looks exactly like my skin. I have the shade um, R230. I actually really like this. I feel like I wear this and people are like, wow, your skin is so amazing, like blah, blah, blah. And they don't even realize I'm wearing foundation most of the time. So I have had it for a year though. And if you can see, like, I I do not go through my makeup very often, or very quickly. I try to get minis. I'm going to move this camera down. Anyways, I like this foundation a lot. I'm going to get rid of it. Well, I would like to replace it in the future. Um, maybe repurchase it, but... I do want to try some other things. I really want to try the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Foundation, I think it's called. And the NARS, what's the new NARS foundation called? It's like the light reflecting something. I've heard that's really good. Overall, I don't think I'm going to buy a new foundation right away. For powder, I have the Rare Beauty Just Setting Powder, I think it's called, in the shade Light. I really like this, no complaints. I don't use a ton of powder because I have dry skin, but when I do, I like this. It's not like super drying. I have used the Laura Mercier one, and I, a lot of people love that one. For me, that one is a little bit drying, and I don't find that this one is. But I, again, I don't know if I will replace it right away. I just feel like for the summer, I'm not going to be using powder a ton, so I don't know. We'll see. Next, I have the Hoola Light Bronzer. I talked about this in one of my videos like a week ago and I was saying that I like it but it is a little too light. I know that I have super fair skin so that's kind of like what but I find myself having to like pack this on. I just think that I can find a better one. There's not really anything wrong with it. I mean it blends nicely and all of that but I would either try like just the original Hoola shade or I think I'm going to just try a different bronzer altogether. haven't picked one out yet. For blush, I have the Say Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Peachy. I like the formula on this and see once again like this is completely full and I've had it for a year. I just do not need that much product. I don't love the shade on this for me personally. I probably should get rid of this. I should probably get rid of like all of this. So 
that'll be like a theme here. Okay, next I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I hear so many good things about this. I got the mini version because like I said, I don't wear a ton of makeup and I was just trying it out. I still didn't even get close to finishing this. I feel like this makes my makeup look cakey. Anytime that I've used this, I used it with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and then I did the Charlotte Tilbury, what is it called? The Charlotte Tilbury Setting Powder. It made, like you could just see it on my skin and I did not like that, so I'm definitely getting rid of this. Like, I did not use this. This is the powder that I used it with. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. Again, it's just the mini version, and I still didn't freaking use it, like, at all. I did use this for the under eyes a little bit, but I honestly don't use it very often. Like, if I need a powder, I just reach for my Rare Beauty one, so... I don't know, maybe I should keep it and give it another chance. <sighs> we'll see. Then I have the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I don't love this. I've tried it under foundation. I've tried it on this skin for like those kind of no makeup days with just a little concealer. I've tried it over foundation. I don't love it. It's like a natural highlight, but I feel like I'm not a big highlight girly. I like to look as natural as possible. Obviously, you can tell I'm wearing makeup like right now. I like to look as natural as possible and I like the dewiness and like the glow to actually come from my skin and my foundation and stuff like that. And I don't want any shimmer or highlight or anything like that on my face usually, so... I don't know, I'm not obsessed with this. It's not like a bad product. I can see for the people who like kind of like a glowier look, why they would like it. But one thing that I do love from Charlotte Tilbury is this Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This will make your makeup last. I, I just have the mini and this has lasted me like a year. So I do like this and I do wanna repurchase it, maybe in the big size. I also have this ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Setting Mist. Kind of looks like, uh, and there's like nothing left in it. I do like this, kind of just for, like if I go in with my cream or liquid products and then I go in with like any powders over top of it, I like to uh, spray my face with this and then go over it with like a beauty blender just to make sure that everything is seamless together There's no like powder sitting on top of my makeup. It's like Enmeshed if you know what I mean, so I do like this for that. I'm not planning on repurchasing this but I like it and it has served its purpose also from Colourpop I have this little eyeshadow quad um, it's called the Bare It All Pressed Powder Palette. This is what it looks like. Just some like neutral colors. I only use this brown shade in here for eyeshadow brush and use it as like eyeliner. But I don't really use any of the other colors for eyeshadow. I usually just use my bronzer for eyeshadow. I think I'll just keep this because I do like that to have this shade and I don't really like want to go go buy a whole new thing. Is that the first thing I'm keeping in this whole thing? Okay, then I have some lip products. I have this NYX lip pencil in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I thought I had another shade. I'm pretty sure I have Pink Neutral, maybe? I don't know, I can't remember the name of it, but I have a pink one of this. I like these. They're fine. I just like something that is similar to the color of my lips. So I like these. And I'm pretty sure these are only like $4. So I usually just go buy a new one when it is not sharp anymore, which is just so wasteful. But I'll probably keep this and I will buy a pencil sharpener instead of buying a new one. Okay, then I have the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm in the shade, I think it's in Rosewood. Yeah, Rosewood. This is fine. I'm gonna keep it. It's pretty pink on me. Whoa. Um, but it can be fun. 
So I'll keep that. And then I have the Patrick Ta. I don't know what this is called, but it's like the Patrick Ta gloss. And it is lip plumping. And I have the shade Full Syringe. It's red in the tube, but it looks so pretty when you put it on. I love this and I'm going to keep it. I have another Summer Fridays lip balm in here that's like empty basically so yeah that is all of my makeup i'm pretty much getting rid of everything except for these lip products this eyeshadow yeah so i'm pretty much getting rid of everything and i just want to replace everything like i said the sephora sale is coming up so i will be saving some money on new products yeah maybe i'll show like me shopping for new makeup products but if I don't, I'll definitely do like a haul or something or just like trying new makeup that I bought. Oh, also I forgot about this, but this is the Freck OG. Um, why is the freaking... The bottle is like blown up. It's exploded and the cap is cracked. I don't like this product. I never did. How does this shit look... Okay, I don't need to swear. How does this look cute on people? I do not understand. I have freckles naturally, but when you put concealer on, obviously they're covered. So you're like, oh, I want to have my cute freckles showing. So you go in, draw your little freckles on, and then you pat them out. This does not look good on me. And I do not have big pores, I don't think. Um, in my opinion, I don't. But I swear they just like go in your pore and like make your pore look big. Make it look like you have big pores instead of freckles. Obviously, I am not the majority population here because I see so many people using this product and it looks so cute. But yeah, it's never looked cute on me, so. What's up? It is way later in the day. I actually just finished editing this video. I did end up vlogging the rest of the day today, but this like makeup part of the video ended up being really long, so, so I'm just gonna cut it out and I might vlog a little, like maybe a week in my life for the rest of the days this week. It's Tuesday today, so I vlog Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or something. And I also am going to do a haul once I get all of my new makeup, testing my new makeup. So that is coming soon. I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Peace out.